Construction Calculator is an Android app available from Snappy Apps. This software is available on the Google Play Store as a free, ad-driven version and a paid, ad-free version. The software is designed with construction tradesmen in mind and was created by tradesmen who work in the field. Construction Calculator is a very comprehensive package and we highly recommend you watch this tutorial and our entire tutorial series in their entirety so that you can get the most out of Construction Calculator. We have included links to all the associated videos below in the write-up. While Construction Calculator has many handy modes, such as a full-featured triangle calculator and an arts and sectors mode, in this tutorial we will be concentrating on the core of the app, the calculator's base functions. With that said, let's take a look at the app. Let's begin by looking at how to enter dimensions including area and volume into the calculator. To do this we will use the orange dimension buttons on the left side of the calculator. There are three for metric, the meter button, the centimeter button, and the millimeter button, and there are five for imperial, the yard button, the foot button, the inch button, the inch numerator button, and the inch denominator button. Pressing on any of these buttons twice will enter an area, and pressing on them three times will enter a volume. A single press will enter a distance. Let's go ahead and simply enter 123 feet and change it to area and volume as well. To do this, we will click the 1 button, the 2 button, and the 3 button, followed by the foot button. This will give us 123 feet. If we click the button again, we will get an area of 123 feet squared. And if we click it one more time, we will get a volume, 123 cubic feet. Let's go ahead and clear that off. Now let's add two more complicated dimensions together. We will add 42 foot 6 and 3 sixteenths of an inch and 23 feet 8 inches. To do this, we start by entering our 42 feet. So we press 4, 2, the foot button, then our inches, 6, inch, and then our 3 sixteenths, we use our numerator inch and our denominator inch. So our numerator is 3, numerator inch, sixteenths of an inch is 1 6, denominator inch. Now we have our full value entered, we'll press the plus button to add a dimension to it, and we'll enter 23 foot 8, so 2, 3 feet, and 8 inch. Now when we press the equals button, we'll get a result. You'll also notice that all these figures are entered into our history bar, and can be recalled by simply clicking on them. So let's go ahead and clear that out now. Now let's go ahead and do a division example. So we'll enter 246 feet, 8 inch, and we'll divide it by 7. So to do this, we go 2, 4, 6 feet, 8 in the inch button, and then we simply hit the divide and the 7 key. Then our equals, and you'll see we get 35 foot 2 and 55 60 fourths. Now this is a good time to mention our setting for our um, denominator inch because often you won't want to see 60 fourths, especially if you're using a measuring tape. So let's go ahead and clear that. Now if we go into settings, which is our gear, purple gear icon, or we also have a settings in our mode bar, we can change our inch precision from 1 64th to say 1 16th. If you're using a measuring tape, you probably have sixteenths on there. So let's change it to 1 16th and back out of the settings with the back button on your phone. And let's try that calculation again. So 246 feet, 8 inch, divided by 7, equals, and now you'll see we get actually get it in eighths, 35 foot 2 and 7 eighths. The reason for that is the 16th um, didn't work out with the rounding, so it actually rounded to an eighth. But if there was a more accurate 16th, it would have displayed 16ths here. So let's go ahead and clear that. Now let's take a look at the quick conversion functions we can use with the calculator. 
Um, the easiest way to explain this one is just to show an example. So let's go ahead and pull up our history bar, which is this little hamburger button here. And we'll just pull one of our values back out. So say 246 foot 8. You'll see it comes out into the display. Now to quick convert this, we simply click on another um, one of our measurement buttons. So if we wanted to convert these feet to meters, we simply click on meters. And we'll get the metric value. And of course we can convert to anything. So we can convert to centimeters, back to inches, and of course back to feet. Now if we convert back to feet, you'll notice it comes in as a decimal foot. This is a good way to get decimal feet, but also if you want to uh, display your fractional inches again, that's what this button is for. You simply click the button with the uh, X foot X inch on it, and you'll get the uh, broken down fractional value of your inches up in the display, up in the history bar. And if you need to recall it and use it that way, then you can just click on it, and you'll be back to your 246 foot 8. So that's quick convert. Let's go ahead and clear that. Now let's take a look at our top bar on the display. This typically displays history. So let's just go ahead and go 9 plus 6. You'll see it shows the active formula. So as soon as we clear, it'll clear the history bar. But you can call up the history with the hamburger button, and it does not clear until you physically hit the clear button down here. This will show all of your history. Let's go ahead and close that. Now if you want to change the stop bar, you can also display memory up here and your scales. And to do that, you simply click on the little history button in the side here, and it will toggle to memory and toggle to scales. All these can also be toggled from your list view. So if you go into your list view, you can toggle between your history, your memory, and your scales in here as well. And this will change it back out here as well. Of course, remember, there's nothing in memory, but if you put something in memory with your memory set button, you'll see that it displays in the memory list. Let's go ahead and clear that. So let's quickly go through how memory works. Um, we've already seen the memory set button, but let's go ahead and put a measurement in there. So let's go with 8 foot 6 inch and 1 quarter. We'll go ahead and hit our memory set button to put that in memory. And let's just put a metric value in there as well. Let's go 8 meters, 75 centimeters. Put that in memory with our memory set button. And now you'll see the active memory is green and we can change that. And we can also pull, pull up our memory list and select values from our memory list as well, as well as clear our memory. Now the other two memories are memory plus and memory minus. This will allow us to add numbers to memory into the memory selected memory slot. So let's go ahead and add uh, two inches into there. So let's go ahead and clear and go two inch. And now you'll see every time I press the memory button, this memory figure will go up by two inches. And of course we can change memory slots and we can add into that one. And of course the memory minus button works the opposite way. So you'll see now eight centimeters will come off that figure. And you'll see if we go in here, we can memory minus an inch, memory plus an inch, and that's how the memory works. So let's go ahead and clear that again. So now we'll take a look at the three red keys in the top right, your backspace, your clear, and your clear all. Let's go ahead and change this back to history. So if you're in the middle of a calculation, so say 9 plus 6, and you goofed up 6, you actually wanted to add 8, you can press clear, and it'll just clear the number on the display. Now if you're in the middle of that calculation, and you hit 9 plus 6, and you want to clear all, clear all will take away the entire formula. Backspace is, as it suggests, if we're entering 987 and we're like, oh, whoops, I was supposed to enter 986, Backspace will take away the last figure and allow you to enter a new figure. That's about it for Backspace, clear, and clear all. The scale buttons allow you to easily scale drawings. They're in the bottom right corner in purple buttons, a to scale and a from scale. Um, there's a separate tutorial for this that explains it a little better, but we'll go through it quickly here. So let's say we had a drawing that had a scale of um, 1 16th of an inch equals a foot. 
we can first enter that scale. So we'll go ahead and click 1 16th, 1 numerator inch, 16 denominator inch from, and that equals a foot. So we'll go 1 foot, and enter a 2 button. And now you'll see our scale display is active, and we have our, active, our scale in there, 1 16th equals a foot. And of course, we can store many scales in this list and select them from this list. Right now, we only have the one, but you can put quite a few in there. Go ahead and close that. So now, once the scale is active and you have a scale selected, anything you type in will show the scaled value in the green button. So say we measure our drawing and we measure two and a half inches. So let's go ahead and go 2.5 inches. You'll see that that's actually 40 feet in real life. 2.5 inches on the drawing, 40 feet in real life. And you'll also notice as I type in values, it, uh, it is constantly adjusting the scale. To tell you your values. This can come in quite handy, especially if you're um, measuring multiple measurements on the drawing. So say you had a, a pipe run going um, around the building. You could take your measuring tape and you can measure multiple dimensions on the drawing and get a total. And then you can just type in your total. So you might measure, you know, 11 inches across the drawing and then five inches up the drawing and then maybe another couple inches back to the electrical room or something like that. And this will give you your total total length in real life and you quickly and easily have um, the length of your conduit run or duct run or whatever you're running. Let's go ahead and clear that now. So the last thing we're going to look at in this tutorial is the mode bar, which is this series of gray buttons along um, this row here, just below the display. There's quite a few different modes, and we're planning on adding a few more. Um, each of these modes has a separate tutorial that you might want to look at. We're not going to cover each mode in this tutorial, and uh, the links for those YouTube videos are in the description below. Um, the mode bar is scrollable, so on smaller phones you'll notice that they don't all uh, appear, but you can scroll through them. You can also access help and settings from the mode bar. And you can also hide this mode bar. If you find the calculator buttons are a little too small for you, and you want to use up this real estate with the buttons, and you don't really use the modes, you can simply go into settings, scroll to the bottom of settings, and under mode bar, you'll see mode bar visible. You can uncheck this. And your buttons on your calculator will be a little bit bigger, a little bit uh, further space, spaced apart, but you won't have your mode bar. You can always bring it back, though, with settings. And by rechecking mode bar visible at the bottom, and your mode bar will um, reappear. To go into your modes, you simply click on them, and you'll see that your calculator completely changes to another mode. And within these modes, when you want to enter dimensions or angles or whatever um, the mode is asking for, you simply click on the blue buttons and your calculator will come back up except with an orange bar that's explaining that you need to enter a value and press the back button on your phone. So if we wanted to enter 8 foot 6 in here, we'd enter 8 foot 6 inch. Hit the back button on our phone and that'll bring us back here and it'll enter our value into the blue buttons. All the modes use a similar uh, technique to enter these dimensions. It makes it much better because we can actually go in here and we can recall history or memory locations, or we can even do calculations while we're in here. So you'll see if I go into history and I pull up 246 foot 8, which is a little big for this triangle, but anyway, and hit back, you'll see that um, that value enters into here, which makes it pretty handy. Yeah, it's a pretty small triangle. <laughs> anyway, um, like I said before, if you need an in-depth um, YouTube video of any of these, you can go into the links below, or if you go into one of these modes and hit the help button, that will guide you to the uh, help video for this uh, module or this mode. That's about it for construction calculator. I hope you really enjoy our app and that it saves you tons of time. If you require more help, please be sure to check out our YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications to keep up to date with new tutorials and apps. Also, check us out on Instagram under Snappy Apps. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you soon.